down, calm down. Welcome back to LFP, aka Black Sports Center, the most lit sports talk show. Go ahead and hit that like, subscribe button for me, please. And you already know, it's your boy, the Big Potato, with my homie, Professor. Professor, Mr. He came to enlighten us, I guess. We'll see what he yeah, talked you know, about. You know, Professor gotta put his input in this. <laughs> we gonna see. But you know, we back to talk about more NFL, baby. And the league right now is being taken over by a young, electrifying, superstar-looking quarterback. And that young man is Pat Mahomes for the Kansas City Chiefs. Got them boys balling, talking about showing out, looking like the best offense in the league, 5-0. Big game against the Pats coming up. That could determine who's the first seed in the AFC, or a top seed at least. So that's the first question I got from my homie. <laughs> All right. How far do you think Patrick Mahomes can take the Chiefs? Well, look, let me tell you what Professor think. I think Mahomes could take them to the playoffs, potentially the AFC championship. Up until last week, you know, he had 14 touchdowns, zero interceptions. So he had a perfect season so far. The Jaguars showed that if – a good defense can play and keep Tariq Hill, keep Sammy Watkins, keep all the players from doing what they do, which is get deep passes, deep balls, get behind the secondary. A good defense shows that the Chiefs can be stopped, which, mm. which, what, what? Go ahead, go ahead. Which, which, which gives me my prediction that the farthest they can get to is the AFC Championship and, you know, who I got them losing to, the Patriots. But, you know, what's your decision about that, Big Potato? Shit, I think that Patrick Mahomes, he's hell, and the Chiefs are hell. But it's Andy Reid, and they always seem to falter for some reason under him in the playoffs. So I see them losing in the divisional round. Because first off, Patrick Mahomes is snapping. Don't get me wrong, he's good, but this is the regular season. When you get to that other beast, the playoffs, and you that real pressure starts to set in, Mahomes hasn't been through anything like that because it's not like he ever had Texas Tech really competing for a Big 12 championship even or to even go to a national championship. So he's never really felt real pressure quite yet. And it's hard, hard as a rookie to go in and win a playoff game against a vet. You're probably playing like, the Bengals or the Ravens, maybe even the Steelers again with Le'Veon. So I don't know, bro. I'm telling y'all, divisional round, and that's as far as they gonna go. But Pat Mahomes is gonna have a phenomenal regular season. Hey. I think Mahomes is a superstar. So I want to know how far, do you, well, not how far, but how great of a career do you think Mahomes will have? And if you had to compare compare his legacy to another player's, whose would it be? Um, uh, career-wise, I feel like he he would definitely make the Pro Bowl mm-hmm. a couple times. Um, I feel like he'll have good seasons. Probably this might be one of his best seasons, though. I feel until that. teams you know get some film yeah. on whatever. But um, I don't see him winning a ring right now. Uh, I just don't see it. Damn. But he has the potential to. You know what I'm saying? It just depends on if Andy Reid could get that defense right mm-hmm. and if he could keep these weapons around him that help him that be money great. Yeah, buy they, shit. Yeah, they, they help him be great. But um, if I could compare him to anybody, it it would definitely be Donovan McNabb just because he's able to – he's mobile. He can throw on the run. It's accurate on the run. He has a cannon. Yeah. And he's just able to score like – he he he's just a football player. Same athlete. head coach too. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I forgot about that. You know, know what I'm saying? So and Donovan McNabb had a great career. He didn't get any Super Bowls, but he made it once. You know, yeah. I feel like possibly you know when Brady's done, <laughs> Mahomes could probably get a shot. But we gonna see. Mm. But that's I fuck with that because McNabb is a legend. He's very respected. He's a Hall of Famer. Exactly. And right now Patrick Mahomes is on the path of being a Hall of Famer. So I'm going to compare him to another Hall of Famer, and that's Dan Marino. Because Marino was the first quarterback to put up 5,000 yards in an era where it wasn't being done. 
So, but he also never won a Super Bowl. So I kind of feel that's Patrick Mahomes' destiny. He gonna be the first quarterback to throw for 6,000 yards one season. Cause like you said, he's loaded with weapons. And whenever they have their best season together, it's gonna be when he throws for that 6,000 cause it's gonna be a lot of deep passes. That'll be the season he goes to a Super Bowl, but loses. I don't know to who, but he gonna lose it. Six thousand is a con. Well, that's a lot of yards. I know, but man. people passing more in the NFL, bro. Game changes. Records are meant to be broken. That's also true. That's also true. Yeah, that boy Mahomes gonna have a great career. I see it. Hall of Fame. Oh, like you said, some Pro Bowls. Yeah. He gonna be first team All Pro a couple of times. I don't know about how many, but him and Watson gonna be battling now. He could get MVP this year. He could, which would add a lot to his uh, legacy off rip. But and I'm sure possibly an uh, Offensive Player of the Year award too, maybe. Yeah, if he don't get MVP. Yeah. But shit, you said they're going to lose to the Pats to in the, the AFC. Pats. So, who you guys the top seed, though, in the AFC? The top seed, I got the Patriots. Just because they started off pretty bad. But at the time, they didn't have all their players. The defense was banged up. Right now, they got Edelman back. They got Josh Gordon now. He's learning the playbook even more each week. So we got Gronk, James White. Sonny's averaging 100 yards, two touchdowns a game yeah, he's the past two weeks. You know what I'm saying? James White can catch passes. I feel like the Patriots could be the number one seed coming out, or they will be the number one seed coming out just because – if they're healthy. If nobody gets hurt, that's who I got number one. But right behind them is the Chiefs. Okay, so Chiefs that's second. Chiefs second, which is why I said this game today determines who will be the number one seed later on. Um, and who you got as third? I'm just wondering. Uh, My sleeper would be probably the Ravens. I got mm. the Ravens. So they're going to win the division? Yeah. Okay. I feel like when they get their rematch against the Bengals that they lost to, uh, I feel like they, they'll they beat the Steelers again. Sweet. And then the rematch against the Browns. They'll and, beat the Browns yeah. the second time. I feel like the they could be third. That's my third pick, actually. Okay. It was the Titans, but I just, you know, I just, I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't believe it. Who you got, Big Potato? Shit. So the first two are similar, but I'm going to flip them. So, I got the Chiefs first, even though they're going to lose in the divisional round, because the Patriots fucked up early and lost two games. They really should have beat the Jags, no cap, because the Jags aren't that good. I'm going to get back to them in a second. But the Chiefs have no losses, so even if they lose to the Patriots, they can afford that loss, because I just don't see them losing again down the road, even though the Pats will have the tiebreaker, but they would need the Chiefs to have at least two losses to jump ahead of them. And the Chiefs are going to know that. They're going to be like, all right, we can't lose again. We could go 15-1. and one. There's a magical season they have brewing right now with Mahomes. And then at second, old reliable, the Patriots, they probably not going to lose again if they beat the Chiefs tonight. And that's going to lock them in at the top, either the top or the second seed. I'm thinking second. Because, like you said, they got Sonny, they got Josh Gordon, Edelman, Gronk, and a defense that's playing well. If they didn't lose them early two games... I probably would have had them first. Yeah. But shit. For third, I ain't got the Ravens. They a little bit lower for me. I got my boy, Deshaun Watson, and the Houston <laughs> Texans, who've been heating up three in a row. Gets them back to 500, and the division is starting to fuck up. Colts are ass. This is not their year. The Titans lose big games, but they're going to make the playoffs as a wild card because they win when they need to. And I don't think... The Jacksonville Jaguars are going to make the playoffs this year. Blake Bortles is straight booty cheeks. He <laughs> is close. holding that team the fuck back. You're wasting a great defense. And because of having no Fournette for so many weeks, he's projected to be out till week 10. That's a big blow to their offense. Bortles can't carry them. So no playoffs, Jags. So shit. But that's enough about the AFC. Let's talk about the real big shit, man. The NFC, the side no one really knows quite who's going to win because there's some good-ass teams at the top. True. So, true. who you got in the NFC? Uh, I, I got two teams right now, um, and it's going to come down on the week eight. I got the Rams and the Saints. The winner out of that game will be the number one seed in the NFC. 
the Rams, they got the best offense in the league right now. Top 10 mm. defense. But the Saints, they got the number one scoring offense. So we can give them that. So it, it, it could be a shootout. We don't know. The only thing I see with the Rams is coming into the season, we expected them to have this lockdown defense and to be top five. And right now, they're proving that they're not. And they can be scored upon. Past two games that they had, teams put up 30-plus points against them. So I feel like if the Saints could do that, they could possibly they could possibly win. But also, like I said, the Saints defense, they're not. They they look questionable to me. They haven't played anybody to really step up. Mm. But um okay. those are two teams I got. And then my sleeper I would say it'd be the Bears. They just took a tough L today in overtime. But I feel like if Trebinsky can put up points basically, put up points, I feel like they'll be a good Contender in the NFC because they right now they have the number one defense, no doubt. But their offense isn't there. So if Trubisky can put up points, then possibly they can have a run. But that's who I got. What about you, Big Potato? Man, there ain't no question who I'm rocking with, bro. I got the Saints winning the NFC. They finna make the run. So they finna hit the tough part of their schedule. They got the Ravens, the Vikings the Rams, and the Bengals. If they win three out of those four games, they really got to beat Minnesota, and they got to beat the Rams. Like, they can afford a loss to either the Ravens or the Bengals. But because, like you said, that Rams game could come down to deciding who has the top seed in the NFC. And the Saints play the Eagles later on, too. That's going to be another big game. But they are only got one loss right now. And if they can only take two more losses total finish 13 and 3 they could definitely be the number one seed because they'll have the tiebreaker over the Rams and the tiebreaker over the Eagles even though the Eagles will probably have at least four losses they're gonna falter somewhere but that Saints offense with Breeze, Kamara, Mark Ingram, Michael Thomas like this shit is deadly even the games where the defense doesn't quite show up fully even but they've been coming on as a late people haven't been noticing it's all good. Even when they don't show up, we're going to be ready for shootouts with the Rams and the Vikings. We're waiting for that one. And the Eagles, we coming for y'all with wins. We ain't worried about that too much. And the defense going to make plays when they need to. I see it. Because Marcus Davenport, their first-round pick at DN, is starting to get together. And Marshawn Lattimore is still doing his job as a lockdown corner. Don't let that Mike Evans week one fool you. Cause Saints is still taking this shit, man. It's their season to come out of the NFC. I feel you. I feel you, big potato. I feel you. But, you know, like I said, it comes out of that game. Can y'all stop Gurley? We'll see. Or can that? Or can the Rams keep up with us? Because sure, Breeze I'm is the sure, vet. I'm sure they can. Mm. Uh, they're top three in offense right now, too. Like you said, though, we the top scoring offense at the top. They putting up, you know, 480 yards a game. They, they, they there. All right. They're putting up 30-plus points a game, and that's keeping up. You know what I'm saying? I feel you, man. We're going to see later on, and LFP going to be back with y'all later on. If you did in the beginning, hit that like, subscribe button for me, please. And the Big Potato going to be back with the professor. Appreciate you having me on here, Big Potato. Hey, you already know. We're going to be dropping more facts and knowledge for y'all later on. LFP.